Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. Today I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of a brand new kayak that's on the market. So what we got here is a Sea Stream Angler 120. Let me bring this down and show you guys all about it. On paper it says this kayak weighs 95 pounds but it feels much lighter than 95 pounds. So today I'm at Lake Don Pedro. Um, today is the uh, third event of a uh, Wild West Bass Trail Kayak Series. And uh, the winner of today's tournament is going home with this kayak. I would love to demo this kayak, take it on the water. However, it already has an owner and I don't want to put any scratches on it or I don't want to put it in the water before the owner does. So I'm just going to do a walkthrough video and unfortunately, even Headwaters uh, kayak shop, their every kayak is sold out and pre-sold. So they don't have any demo kayak at the moment. So that's why I'm not doing any uh, demo videos. So hopefully they will change. I love trying out different kayaks, as you guys know. So without further ado, let's get into this kayak. Actually, I want to say a couple of things real quick before the walkthrough. Hunter from Livermore reached out last weekend and told me that his dad Jason watches this channel all the time. And I motivated Jason to get started on kayak fishing. Every time I get so happy when I hear that I got somebody started on kayak fishing. Because the main objective of this channel is to promote the sport that I absolutely love. It really motivates me to continue making videos. There are so many reasons why I love kayak fishing and I will get to that on a separate video. So I just want to say thank you Jason for watching my videos all the time and I'm happy to hear that you are kayak fishing. And of course I thank all the viewers for watching and supporting this channel. I really really appreciate it. Hunter also told me that Jason's birthday is coming up. So I also just want to say Happy birthday, Jason. Okay, let's go back to the walkthrough. So like I said, this is a made by Sea Stream. And this is the Angler 120. So if you guys notice, it's got a lot of resemblance of Feel Free kayak, right? It's actually made by Feel Free. Uh, they're a sub brand of Feel Free. Let me go over some specs on this kayak. This is a 12 foot and 3 inches long and it's 35 inches wide. The weight capacity is 450 pounds and obviously this is a paddle kayak, no pedal drive. This kayak will be good for fresh water, uh, for standing. Obviously this is 35 inches wide so it will be really good standing. And uh, also if you can kind of see it's got a long narrow bow so it actually might glide pretty good as well i haven't tried it so i can't really say that for sure anyhow um, let's start from the hull if you look at the hull it's got the long pointy keel in the front and the keel goes all the way back and if you guys can see it's got the pontoon style hull design when you have that pontoon style you know it's gonna give you excellent primary stability uh, for standing up and uh, if you look at the keel from the stern end as you guys can see the keel comes all the way to the back here and it's got a keel guard it looks like it's gonna track very well as well starting from the bow end it's got the molded handle in the front and uh, you got the uh, front hatch twist knobs and it will open up and uh, I don't know how well you guys can see the inside but it doesn't really have a lot of space like other kayaks but it's got a decent amount of space but it doesn't have a whole a lot of space because of the hull design and basically twist and lock 
This thing you see is a rod tip protector. So you put your rod tip there and it's gonna run all the way, your rod is gonna run all the way to the back and you strap on your rod, butt of your rod right there. And it's got the center console. This is not a, a sonar pot. You simply open it up. You got some storage space down here. And you simply clip that back in. Voila. And uh, it's got the adjustable footrest. You do a quarter turn and you adjust. And do another quarter turn to lock it in place. And on either side, you got the gear track. Just like feel free, they got the unique gear track. If you are using Yak Attack, Scotty, whatever, you need an adapter uh, to use that. Yakatech makes really nice adapter for feel free unit track. And as you can see, you got a nice standing platform here. And if you look at the chair, it looks almost identical to Morgan 12.5 or Johnny Bell Bass 100. So it's got two seating position right now. Right now it's on high position. And you simply bring this down here and it's a low position very close to the floor and you got some straps here to secure the seat down and you got straps on either side to adjust the backrest and over here you got some little bit of a storage space right here it's got a bungee so you could put your uh, plano boxes on either side and also down here, you got the webbing side handles and your paddle clip right here with the bungee. Moving back, you got your flush mount rod holder, two of them either side, and it comes with the rod leash. The bow of the kayak is pretty narrow and as you move to the stern, it gets wider. And that's why your tank well it's actually a really good sized tank well and the depth is pretty deep too so you're going to be able to fit a lot of stuff back here of course you got the bungee system down here to secure your item and back here you got your webbing handle and also molded handle back here i think they did that because this is actually rudder ready in case you want to put a rudder back here then you have to use this as a handle instead of this. Pre-drill holes for your rudder cable to go to. Pretty much rudder ready. And you got your drain plug right there. Basically twist and open. And drain your kayak whenever you get a water inside the hull. So just by looking at it, it's gonna be very stable. Looking at the sharp bow, it actually by pedal not bad for 35 inch kayak i really want to try this one out and uh, hopefully i get to try this one out sometime in the near future and i want to do a comparison uh, with the moken 12.5 moken 12.5 is a really good all-around kayak whether you're using the fresh water standing up or you know even the salt water out in the big blue and i'm really curious to see how this will perform out in the ocean and i forgot to mention this one goes for 649 pretty much all the kayaks are pre-sold at the headwaters they have pretty much no zero inventory but you could always pre-order one of these if you like for 649 at headwaters i really wish they have demo kayak for this model so i could try it out but unfortunately they don't so i'm gonna have to wait a little bit before i can try this out so Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Go outside and enjoy the outdoors.